Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is lesson number one, introduction to planning engineer group rule. It is uh, uh, lesson number one in our preparation course for planning engineers. A planning engineer has one of the most important rules in construction projects. Planning engineers are responsible for ensuring that the project will be completed as per project management plan deadlines. Planning engineers should raise any potential risks before it happens and guide the whole team through the project different stages. The main skills required for planning engineers the first and the most important thing, the strong construction background. Construction background is required to understanding the scope of the project and identify the activities and activities dependency. This experience could be gained by working as a site engineer for a period of time before you participate as a planning engineer or by monitoring and observing the work progress maybe you're working at this time as a technical office engineer or maybe another field of engineering or maybe a junior planning engineer and you start monitoring and observing how the work is being done what is the sequence of the work one of the important skills required for a planning engineer the project management knowledge planning engineer should be familiar with project management terms and techniques such as earned value management and the critical path methods we are going to talk about these techniques in details in our course but to give you an idea that a project management professional certificate will cover this point PMP certificate will cover this point it will be a strong point in your CV if you are PMP certified but anyway we are going to talk about whatever we will need in our course okay the computer lit literate the planning engineer should know how to process the planning techniques via software and producing visual aids to help explain the schedule of work. One of the most important computer software is Oracle Primavera and Microsoft Excel. These two are essential tools. Other aid tools could be PowerPoint to prepare a presentation, AutoCAD just to calculate some areas and uh, some quantities and maybe do some sketches you will need it we are going to tell you in our course how to use AutoCAD just simple orders some simple forms to know to prepare uh, a nice sketch or to calculate a small area or a small quantity something like this and of course the Photoshop it is more professional to produce your uh, your your sheets and your drawings so to show the progress with highlighted area this will be done in Photoshop and will I will tell you how to do it exactly in the course At, uh, attention to details this is very important skill for a planning engineer Accuracy is the main core of planning engineers' works. The main difference between successful planning engineer and other, sorry to say, failed planning engineer is paying attention to the details. Engineering, common sense, this is very important to planning engineer. It doesn't matter what you are doing, but when you see some odd figures and odd numbers and odd percentage in your work you shouldn't pass it like this you should analyze the data and see and filtration make some filtration of the data 
planning engineers are dealing with big amount of data every day. However, they should figure out what this data try to say and not just pass them to the others. Communication and interpersonal skills. Planning engineers are a key player, are key player in construction project. They communicate almost with the whole team, attending variance meeting different with different parties and prepare a lot of reviews. Therefore, good communication and interpersonal skills are required. You could develop this type of skills by time, how to are dealing, maybe taking some courses in the communication and interpersonal skills, but I think this can be developed by time, by the experience. Main planning engineer responsibilities. Simply, the planning engineer should prepare a plan to complete the works on time and within budget. This plan cannot be done at all by planning engineer only. However, the planning engineer responsibility is to coordinate with all project team and collect pieces of information from different parties, both them together on one workable project management plan. In our next lesson, we'll tell you exactly what is the content of the project management plan. So just, this is one of the responsibilities of planning engineer. Main responsibilities of planning engineer is to understanding the scope of the project. So you should be able to read the drawings, you should be able to uh, go through the bill of quants, and I will tell you how to to do this one in my next lesson. Identify the best series of events in the correct order from the project for the project to finish on time and on budget. Simply, this means to prepare activity list and sequence the activities in Primavera. This will identify the best series of events, uh, which is activities in our case, in correct order for the project to finish on time and on budget. Presenting the schedule of work to others. This one is very important to uh, develop a detailed symbol to understand the schedules and the graphics. However, we are working with uh, Primavera and maybe other softwares, but the one who will see your output should understand it. So make it easy to understand for non-planning engineers. This is very important and a key uh, skill and the responsibility of the planning engineer to produce a document that can be understood from everyone. And this also apply to the producing visual aids to help explain the schedule of work, including pile charts and network diagrams. You, you can use a specialized computer software to help keep the project on course. This is of course like something like the Primavera, the Excel, and the other softwares you may be, you may be using. Monitoring the progress of the work is very important. In the different stages of the project, you will need to monitor the progress and create some uh, uh, alerts in early stages, uh, notify the project team that there is a problem could be in the procurement. This material will not be delivered on time and this material will delay certain activity. So to making sure the achieved progress on project fits the, pro the progress anticipated in the schedule. This is what I was talking about to make sure that nothing will delay the project. And of course, keeping in contact with the project manager, informing him or her about uh, what is going on, what is the plan and the actual percentage 
what is the critical activity and what is the potential risk because the planning engineer see the whole picture so they should uh, advise the project manager with any potential risk and of course making adjustment to the schedules if necessary usually the first schedule you are making will not work 100% so we in the middle of, of or in at any stage of, of the project we are making a revised copy of the pro, of the program or or the project uh, schedule so making adjustment to the schedule if necessary one of the planning engineer responsibilities and of course communicate with all project team who may be in another country or even via video conference providing advice to people involved in the project to different people I mean here like to advise the procurement department that this material need to be delivered on this date in order to execute the, follow, the following activity by this that day so this is one example other example advising the construction manager what they should do this week or the coming two weeks we call it two weeks look ahead schedule something like this uh, maybe adv advising the technical office by what shop drawing should be completed we will see in the uh, coming lessons how to prepare a shop drawing list and this one is uh, linked with the project activities ensuring that all separate elements of the project fit together and are working towards the correct direction this simply could be a, uh, uh, seen in your summary report telling you what is the status of the project are you ahead of the schedule behind the schedule are you on budget or behind the budget this will talk about in details in our research thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next lesson